welcome to episode 13 of Let's Hear It. Lucky number 13 because we have Scott Metzger today. Scott's the guitar player in Joe Russo's Almost Dead, also the guitar player in Circles Around the Sun, and he's got a great band called Wolf, another band called Showdown Kids, and more than that that he'll tell us about. And um, Scott was born in New Jersey, currently lives in Brooklyn. I'm sure he's waiting to go back out on the road. And today he's going to show us something that he just got, a 1955 Martin Triple O 18 acoustic guitar. Scott is mainly known as an electric guitar player, but he's in love now with this acoustic guitar. So we'll see where he's going from here. Say hello to Scott Metzger. Hello, Scott. Hey, how's it going, Gary? Good, man. How are you? All things considered, very well. I'm glad to hear that. And I see that you have a new guitar. And tell us about where you got it and how you're feeling now that you've had it, I guess, 10 days or so? Yeah, it's it's brand new to me. Um, and it's kind of a crazy time to be getting a new instrument. Um, but I have no buyer's remorse at all. Um, I haven't put it down since I got it, actually. Um, I can't put it down. It's call, it just keeps calling me. Uh, how did you find it? Where did it come from? Well, I came across, I wasn't necessarily looking for a, an acoustic guitar, but I did recently did a session making a record up in Woodstock at a studio called The Isicon there. And the singer, Elijah, on the session had a 1957 triple O 18, which is what this guitar is. This is a Martin triple O 18. And it was the nicest acoustic guitar that I've ever played that he had. I, in between every, every little break that we had in between takes, I would kind of like, you know, sneak over to the corner where it was and take it out of its case and, you know, be strumming it. And I went to bed, I went to bed thinking about it during the session and I woke up in the morning early to be the first one up so that I could, you know, go upstairs and play it. And I just fell in love with that guitar. And so I came home from the recording session and a few days went by and I just couldn't get the guitar out of my head. I just kept thinking about it and it gave me a feeling. Sometimes you play a guitar and it just gives you a feeling of being inspired and wanting to make more and maybe new music. And that's what that guitar did for me. So I decided um, I was gonna go on the hunt and start looking online and try and find one of these things for myself. And I finally found one that looked great, and it was down at Carter Vintage Guitars, which you know, right, Gary, down in Nashville? I do. I love going there. Yeah, one of the best. It's like world-class guitar shop. Yeah. And I called down to them, and I said, uh, you know, you have a 1957 0 018 on the website. I'd love to uh, talk more about it. And I spoke to Justin there, and he said, oh, you know, that's a great guitar, and we just sold it yesterday, or two days ago. So you missed that one. But he said, we've got another one that just came in that hasn't even been listed on the website that's a 1955 0018, same model. And it turns out that's this guitar. It was actually a lot cheaper, too, than the one that I was looking at, which was always nice. Yeah. And so for the first time in my life, I bought a guitar uh, via the internet, sight unseen. And, uh, you know, I hit, I hit the, uh, the send button on the old PayPal account and kept my fingers crossed that I was gonna love it when it got here. Were they, did they offer you a trial period? I'm sure they did, right? They were so cool, yeah. They had, they, he was, because I explained to him that I had never done anything like this before and he said, look, man, it's cool. He's like, if you get it, just send it back within, I think they said 48 hours. Was the um, was the trial period, um, and I, I. But I mean, when I got here and I opened it up, it, it didn't take. It was forty eight seconds, you know, and I knew I was keeping this thing. Well, that's great. I. Uh, what do you know about the Triple O Eighteens? I think uh, they first were introduced in the early nineteen hundreds as a twelve fret guitar, um, where the body attached to the neck at the twelve fret. But I think in the early thirties, maybe. They became 14 fret guitars. I think that's the story. That sounds that sounds good. 
<laughs> I don't know that much about the, the history of the, uh, the modifications that they made over the years. Yeah. I just know, you know, I know a few of my favorite guitar players have played this model. Um, Ry Cooter uh, famously did the uh, Paris, Texas soundtrack yeah. on one of these. And now Julian Lodge, uh, he plays a triple O 18 in the duo that he has with Chris Eldridge. Yeah. Yeah, which is about as good as it gets on acoustic guitars, that's for sure. Oh man, world class. All right, well go ahead and uh, let's hear what it sounds like and uh, play us whatever you feel like playing. All right, I'll play something I wrote. Um, this is a song called Cafe Hidalgo. <laughs> sounding guitar and a beautiful song that you've written there did you write that on this guitar since you got it or you've had that no I did not I wrote that a few years ago and recorded it with Wolf um, on our first record I guess but it just it's something about that sort of Cuban I guess influenced sound it just sounds so nice on acoustic guitar it's an A minor the saddest of all keys <laughs> yes people weep instantly um, what, um, what I heard, uh, especially when you were playing chordal stuff up on the neck, it was how beautifully intonated it sounds, even with a capo on it. Very nice. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things about that I love about the guitar. It's like, it's so even from, from low to high. perfectly in tune the dynamics are you know totally copacetic hmm. well great um what else can you what so what's your plans for that guitar 
So most of the bands you're in, are, you're in, you're playing electric guitar. Do you think you'll be trying to find a project to use that guitar, making a solo recordings? Any plans? Um, we'll see. Yeah, solo recording is definitely a, a goal of mine, and it would be with an acoustic guitar, and it would be with this acoustic guitar. Now that I found the guitar, I kind of now I uh, I don't have the excuse to keep putting off making the record. Yeah. Well, great. So what have you been up to? I know you're probably ready to go go back out on the road. How you, You're obviously now playing acoustic guitar, but what have you been doing? I'm ready. I don't know when it'll happen, but I'm ready. Um, you know, we've been, uh, we've been lucky. Um, I get have gotten lots of, you know, interesting calls from people asking me to play on recordings. I have a little home uh, recording set up here, so I've done some, like, special guesting on people's albums and put down some parts um, for other people's records and just really staying as positive as possible. I don't know if we're going to talk about that circles thing or not. I don't know if that's... Uh... Uh, yeah, we can talk about it. You can pitch it as an exclusive. <laughs> your, your first recordings with circles. That's right. That's right. Well, I went out and uh, went out and bought a green screen because we're going to uh, circles around the sun. We're going to try and try something a little different and try and do a, uh, a virtual concert where we're all playing together, but we'll actually never have all been in the same room on the gig. So we'll see how that goes. That's been a fun adventure. I'm sure it will be. Uh, and also uh, a few episodes back, we had Katie Jacoby on the show playing her violin and she is Scott's fiance. So congratulations on that as well. Cheers, thank you. All right, well, thanks to Scott Metzger for joining us today. Check back in a couple days for the next episode of Let's Hear It. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a Facebook channel and a website coming soon. And Scott is going to retune his guitar and play us a cover song of something you might know.